If Ben McAdoo wasn't already in the Coach of the Year conversation, he belongs there now. Think about what the New York Giants have done over the past week. You lose a tough game in Pittsburgh, you lose one of your best defensive players, Jason Pierre-Paul, and you come back and knock off the Dallas Cowboys from an 11-game winning streak. NFC East... Still in the Cowboys' control, but it's not over yet. they got a couple of tough matchups the next two weeks at home against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and then the Detroit Lions. I think the Green Bay Packers sent a message to everybody else in the NFC that they're a team that you've got to look out for if they can make it to January. Still a long way to go in that, but a dominant performance against the Seattle Seahawks on Sunday at Lambeau Field. The concern going forward? How is Aaron Rodgers' calf? He played through it on Sunday, but an injury to his other calf in 2014 turned him into a pocket passer down the stretch. Speaking of quarterback injuries, two other big ones involving playoff contenders. Ryan Tannehill, the Miami Dolphins, feared to have a torn ACL. That'll force Matt Moore into the starting lineup. And with Detroit, Matthew Stafford with a dislocated finger, also torn ligaments in the middle finger on his throwing hand. It sounds like the hope is Stafford is going to be able to play through this injury, but how effective he can be when it's your throwing hand, that's no joke for a quarterback. Just when you think the Los Angeles Rams can't get any lower, they go out and lay an absolute egg at home against the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons are a good team. they got a quarterback who's rolled in Matt Ryan, ton of weapons, very good offensive coordinator in Kyle Shanahan, but that is an ominous sign, especially when after the game, you've got a guy like Todd Gurley calling out your middle school offense. Of all the coaches who are on the hot seat going forward, Jeff Fisher certainly has to be at the center of that mix. The Tennessee Titans are just the latest team to prove how soft that Denver Broncos team is in the middle. A lot of opponents have figured this out now. They don't like to be punched in the mouth, so run the football right at them. That's what the Titans do well. They did to the tune of 180 yards on Sunday. Controversial play from that game, the low block by Harry Douglas on Broncos cornerback Chris Harris Jr. Akeem Tlaib tried to take out Douglas on the next play, but guess what? I don't expect there to be discipline for what Douglas did. He's blocking toward the opponent's goal line, not away from the play, and the ball is live. That's legal.